hands in his ring. Uh -huh. Jacob have I loved. Who? So but have Jacob have, have I loved. But who? But Esau, Esau yeah. have I hated. So now the question I mean, is, no who, is Jacob? That. who is Jacob? Israel, the Jews. And who is Esau? Jews. And who is Esau? His brother. And who he, it was it's his gospel, brother. Right? So <laughs> do you guys have a devil? The most high God is a so-called black Because if a guy wanted to hear the Bible, he'd listen to where it says this is the gospel. What color is Christ? All I want to know. What color is Christ? I'm colorblind. I don't care. Yeah, I know this because you don't want to know the truth. You want to know the gospel? See, I don't want to know the truth. Hey guys, before we continue, I found that 93% of you who watch these videos are not subscribed. Click that subscribe button to support truth and click the like button to keep these videos populated within the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for your support and truth. Let's get right to it. I asked you. I asked you. Read it. God, read where it. Is read it. The gospel I just First read. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Let That's me have it. God. Read out. Read out. Read out. Read out. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel. Who is brethren? Apostle Paul's about to tell us. Who is Paul talking Moreover, to? Moreover, brethren, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, which I preached unto no, you, no, which also you received, no. and wherein you stand, by which also you are saved. You just cut your own damn self. By because who is the you brethren? Saved. Who is the brethren? 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 Again, the third, I'm reading, all I'm doing is reading. If you want the truth, you turn to the truth. All you have to do is read the Bible. By Gentiles, and the wicked flee when no one pursues. Done with the Jews. Okay, so I can I can talk to him a little bit. I can talk to him a little bit. But who are the Gentiles? Not for life. You know the Jews will be restored. You know the Jews. Who are the Gentiles? Come on, now I can talk to him. You a runner? You a runner? Yeah, he running. He's a runner. Okay. So this guy on the left with a beard and white shirt is Robert Breaker. He's a heretic because he teaches once saved, always saved. And he does not understand the true origins of demons and exactly how the serpent weakened the nations in Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12. He is the first heretic I will address in this series that I will give several titles. First, let's go back about eight years when Robert Breaker did a video Citizen titled Ham went Where South. Do the Racists Jeremiah Come From? Jeremiah 13, 23 says, Let's take a listen. Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. An interesting question in the Bible. Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard change his spots? Well, we look at the leopard, and guess what? He's got spots all over it. Can he change that? When we look at an Ethiopian, what do we see? We see someone that's got dark skin. So a dark-skinned person is a descendant of Ham, one of the sons of Noah, and they went south when they left the ark. And so that's where black people come from. First of all, Jeremiah was not only referring to the Ethiopians as sinners. Secondly, not all black people or even a fraction of blacks are Ethiopian. Third, Leviticus chapter 13 gives a detailed account concerning the law of leprosy. Chapter 13, verse 1 through 45, describes bright white spots and yellow hair, reddish white spots, baldness, and reddish balding on the forehead, and that's described as leprosy. This describes the various skin tones and pigmentation of the so-called white man. Thin hair is a form of baldness. It describes how reddish skin is easily burned, which we already knew because melanated people are compatible with the sun. White people are not. In Exodus chapter 34, Moses was able to stand before God because he had melanated skin. If Moses was a white man, he would have died in proximity near God. But let's continue. It's not racism. It's not, you know, talking and, and, and downgrading or putting them down. It's just that's the direction they went. That's just what the Bible shows us. That's why there are black people, because the son of Noah, Ham, was black. Now, some people believe that the reason he was black-skinned is because there was a curse upon him. I'm not going to go into that. I don't have time to talk about that. don't even want to mention that. But some people might take that as racism or whatever. But I've met a lot of black people, especially down here where I live in the South. And as a preacher, I talk to them, visit them, go, go to their homes and talk to them. And 
I can't tell you how many times I've sat and talked with black, black people and they've told me, well, we got a curse in our race. <laughs> I didn't say it. That's what they say. I said, why do you say that? They said, well, the Bible says so, and we've been told that our whole life. Well, it's a shame. You don't have to. You know, there's a thing called the blood of Jesus Christ that can take away all curses. Oh, I believe in the blood of Jesus. I believe in every race, no matter what race you are, having to come to Jesus for salvation. Black people were told many lies concerning the Bible by white people. Genesis chapter 25 says Esau is red and hairy, confirming Leviticus 13 and the laws of leprosy. You can't be an Israelite with red skin. Genesis 25 also states that one nation will be stronger than the other. Black people are stronger physically, spiritually, emotionally. Being compatible with the sun, being melanated, is among those attributes that makes us stronger. Why does this matter? Well, I'll get to that later. Yes, blood of Jesus repairs our DNA in the process of getting born again, but the blood of Jesus does not take away all curses because all men die. Death is a curse. Men still must inherit the penalty of death to inherit eternal life. It's prophesied in the scriptures. Every race of people have a curse against their people. Uh, a lot of these different three have different distinct things about them. For example, if you go to a barber shop, I've done this before, you can ask the barber, say, hey, are there different types of hairstyles? And he says, there's only three different types of hairs. Only three, huh? Well, what are they? Well, you've got the real fine hair, Japheth. Usually Japheth is real fine hair, usually blonde. You've got the, the, the hair that's, that's black and curly, sounds like ham. And then you've got the long, straight, thick black hair. Sounds like Asian people. He contradicts himself. Because if Asian people are Shem, who are those people in Israel today? Came from the Caucasus Mountains. Caucasians, or Asians, derive as offspring of Caucasians. It's the curse of leprosy. But who was that guy God molded from the brown soil of the ground then? I'll go a step further. The Gentiles, their hair lays down. Black people, our hair stands up in a variety of crowns. We are the only people whose hair does that. It is symbolic of Revelation chapter 3 verse 9, where Christ said, He will make the Gentiles false Jews. He will make them come and worship before our feet. Genealogies, descriptions of tribes and peoples are mentioned in the scriptures to describe sinners. So you can identify them and warn them of the judgments that will be given to them. That is why skin color matters. It's one of the ways to identify the sinner. It's come from. I hope it answers your question. I hope it's interesting. I hope you don't do like many people do. Take one race and think it's better than another. It's not. We're all of the same blood, the Bible says. No race is better than either race. No Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6 says, You are a holy people above all the nations on the face of the earth. The twelve Hebrew apostles sit on twelve thrones beneath the throne of God. Now, Romans chapter 3 verse 1 through 2 says, What advantage then has the Jew? Much in every way chiefly because to them were committed the oracles of God. Psalm 147, 19 and 20 says, He reveals his word to Jacob and has not dealt so with any other nation. And again, Genesis 25 says one nation will be stronger than the other. Why emphasize this? Because Esau chose a morsel of food over fellowship and communion with Yah. So the generational curse was passed down to his children. So for him to continue in this path, he has to live by the sword, which leads to his demise. Remember, the serpent weakened the nations. I am not purposely saying black people are better, but just to boast. Okay, sin cuts your years short. 
and there is a grave penalty for sin. That is what I want to stress here. So, I presume that the Battle Axis Hebrew Israelite camps got a hold of this video and identified Breaker when he arrived at this venue in Dallas. But let's hear what else was said here. says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Absolutely no exception to that whatsoever. There is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. Not a word of a prayer. There is no exception to that. Every last individual has a sin nature. How we know it? Because we have the Ten Commandments to tell us what sin is. It says thou shalt not lie. You're going to stand here and you never told a lie from the time you were six years old. I wouldn't tell you that. I would not tell you I was not a liar. I know I'm a liar. But I'll tell you who's not. God's not a liar. The Bible says God who cannot lie. What's that mean? So this guy here in the red shirt has written on his shirt, Make America Straight Again, with the scripture, Matthew chapter 7, verse 14 below it, which says, Enter by the narrow gate, which few shall find. I agree with this concept. But I hope it's not some right wing ploy to draw support for Donald Trump. Although they are there to peacefully protest against the liberal, radical, alternative lifestyle, just as long as Trump is not an idol here, and it's about what Christ wants. So you are a sinner and you know you're a sinner. And Christ died for your sin. And by the way, the beloved in, in Psalm of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 10, is white and ruddy. We can go there. He ain't black. We can go there. It's white and ruddy. You know it. But my question, so, sir, my first we question done. Was, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't do what you black. See, can, I ask, can you ask my question? I said you don't know that the so called white man is your enemy. That's right. See how the devil just played both sides in that one exchange? This man with the white polo shirt told him, You're not Israel or Jewish. You black. And then he responded, do you not know that the white man is your enemy? Both of them are wrong. The devil that's in the white man is your enemy. And saying to him, you black. That's not identifying the sinner as I stated in several of my videos and earlier in this video. This is why genealogies were introduced in the scriptures. The Most High in Deuteronomy chapter 28 said that Israel shall be an astonishment and a byword. You can only be astonished at the appearance of someone. Why was he concerned with identifying them? To warn also the Gentiles who do not know God, according to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 5. I can tell this fake crusader just wanted to please the white man by mocking and rebuking his own people in front of him. And that's not rightly dividing the word of truth. That's cooning. And a lot of our people are cursed with that evil spirit, that coon spirit. I can show you in the Bible that the white man is the enemy. Who you work? Who you work? Hey, 
you know I work. And who I'm working for, the so called white niggas. That's right. I gotta go to your job. What's coming out here? That's how you know that, that, that y'all running to work. Because I gotta go to your jobs every day. I don't own the job. I don't own the textile of these clothes. We don't own the grocery stores. Who owns the banks? Who owns the government? Who wants the government? The so called white niggas. Look at that. I'm a worker. And in in, in, I'm a slave to the so called That's right. Then why don't you do somebody? You live in the middle of the world. That's right. That's right. You're bringing it out right now. That's right. Showing you that you are the devil that the Bible works man. I really don't understand them asking him if he works, especially while the word of God is presented. Even though these Hebrew Israelites are wrong about some of their doctrine, he's not asking them for money or anything. So what does his work have to do with the things that he said? That's deflecting and adhering to those stereotypes against black men. Again, it's that coon spirit. Read out, read out. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Read out. But he said up in the past, if thou when thou hearken unto the, unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments, Come on. all his commandments, read. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, read that all these curses, that all these what? That all these curses, that all these what? That all these curses. Are you under curse? Are you under curse? Are you under curse? Big bird, are you under curse? Because I know I'm cursed. That's right. I'm cursed. You are cursed. You under any curses? Why do you know that Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law? What curse? If, if you curse you the law, never was the under the curses. Law. Listen, Christ has redeemed me from any curse. The Bible is you not redeemed because the Bible is not for the so-called You don't believe the Bible you read. I, I that's a, that's you. a Jewish book. That's, that's, that's not a Jewish, Jewish book. book. You're crazy. That's that's what does IHS like mean? 90% of other people Jewish, Jewish means something like pertaining to. Those white people are claiming to be Jews and that they are not. They are not. I know you're not a Jew because the Jews look like us. You're not a Jew. Why are Jews in Israel and you in Okay, first off, he said Christ has redeemed him from every curse. Again, that's not true because death is a curse. All men die. Christ died so that our souls shall be saved from eternal damnation because this earth and these earth suits are temporary. Second, he implied that those who are Jewish should be in Israel. Jewish is pertaining to the word Jew, which stems from the word Judah. But those who are Jewish are not Judah. All right, I hope you get that. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 5 says, Surely I have spoken in my burning jealousy against the rest of the nations, this is God speaking, and against all Edom who gave my land to themselves as a possession with wholehearted joy and spiteful minds in order to plunder its open country. Okay, so there's a penalty for that. He's talking about those who live in the so-called fatness of the land. Those are not black people. Those are these Caucasians, these Edomites, the Gentiles. Isaiah chapter 33 says woe to you who plundered for you shall be plundered luke chapter 21 verse 24 jerusalem shall be trodden down of the gentiles until the times of the gentiles be fulfilled so again another so-called crusader for jesus christ is clueless there is a curse outstanding against the gentiles for the shedding of innocent blood for taking land that don't belong to them. This is what Christ was saying to the rich young ruler when he told him to go sell everything he owns and give it to the poor. Proverbs chapter twenty-two, sixteen, which says he who oppresses the poor to increase his riches and he who gives to the rich will surely come to poverty. Okay, but this guy here is lost. Uh, this Trump supporter. We're not, how much you want to bet I'm a Jew? How much you want to bet I'm a Jew? Go to Deuteronomy. I'll show you who I'm a Jew. Deuteronomy 28 and 1 again. Bring it out. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. Bring it out. Now, and it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently like unto the, the voice of the Lord thy God. Who was the book of Deuteronomy wrote to? Who was the book of Deuteronomy wrote to? Yeah. Yeah. Jews, right? That's right. So the Bible is giving commandments to the certain Jews that the Mosai is talking to. Saying if you listen to his word, then what? To observe. 
and to do all his commandments. Do his commandments. Yeah. Yeah. Which I command thee this day, yeah. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. The Bible says that the Jews are going to be on high if we kept the commandments. That's right. Jump over to 15. Jump over to 15. Chapter 15. We're doing it right now. You probably can't keep the commandments you don't know about them. The commandments are not for white men. That's right. The commandments are not for so-called white men. That's heresy. Romans chapter 5, verse 20 and 21 states, Where sin abounded, grace abounded much more, so that as sin reigned in death, even so grace might reign through righteousness, to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. All that means is as wicked as the white man is, he can still be saved. He first must confess and believe in his heart, that Jesus Christ is his Lord and Savior. Next, he must read and adhere to the manual for repentance and fellowship with the Lord. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 19 says, You, the Gentiles, are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and the house of God. Well, what made them strangers to start? Their skin pigmentation was strange because such people were not permitted in the camps. The Levitical priesthood was commanded to restrict the stranger with compromised skin pigmentation and balding hair to remain in the camp anywhere near the tabernacle. They were not permitted to be near the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. But now their regeneration comes with conditions. Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 15 says the wicked must restore the pledge, give back what he has stolen, and walk in the statutes. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 12 says woe to him who builds a town with bloodshed, who establishes a city by iniquity. Okay, the sins of the father pass on to the children. Isaiah 13, 16 says their children will be dashed to pieces and their wives ravished. But repentance through Christ can save the soul of any man or woman. All right. I want to make that clear and stay tuned for part two.